Good morning, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 9.40 in the morning on Saturday, December 25th, 2021. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas to everybody. 9.40 in the morning on Saturday, December 25th, 2021, and we're getting very close to a major earthquake in uh, California. Let's look at the forecast. Uh, first of all, let's look at the uh, current earthquakes. Since yesterday, we got a couple uh, 4.0 earthquakes uh, off northwest of uh, San Francisco Bay, and a 3.3, and another 3.3, and a 3.0 up there in the northwest, and a 2.7 near Ridgecrest, and a 2.5 over Nevada. So uh, we have a warning for uh, California, and a very, very serious situation. And let's get into the details here. This is the map that just came in this morning. This is the data that came in. And like I said yesterday, I was expecting the, the risk to be more centered in the San Francisco Bay. And this is where the quake should hit, the major quake in this area. Now the risk is across all of California, it could hit down in the Salton Sea, San Diego, Los Angeles, but most likely in the San Francisco Bay, and more specifically, it looks like the energy is built up right along the San Andreas near the city of San Francisco itself. So that's where it should hit. And uh, we'll get to the graph here in a second, but this is uh, most likely to hit on the morning of the 27th, December 27th, which is Monday, the morning of the 27th, Monday, December 27th is when it should hit in the morning but the risk goes out through the 27th and 28th. Here is the new uh, risk graph that just came out. You can see this is uh, this produced a 5.8 and the risk level was at 5.4, produced a 5.8 off the Northwest uh, coast of California. This peaked at 6.2, it produced a 6.2 uh, in Northwest California near Petrolia, California, Northwest of San Francisco. And this spike in risk here, this peak is, uh, up at 6.7, much higher than I thought it was gonna go, but it's at 6.7 now on December 28th. Some of the other, other data that I have is, is pointing toward this quake hitting on the 27th. Uh, this risk level should go down tomorrow, and then, uh, then the forecast tomorrow will be the, the quake will be likely the 27th, 28th, or 29th, most li likely on the 28th. However, the other data that I'm getting says the morning of the 27th is the most likely time for this quake to hit. So here's the warning again, 6.7 to 7.5 earthquake is likely in California, anywhere in California, but most likely to hit in the San Francisco Bay area here, uh, and even more likely to hit right along the San Andreas near uh, the city of San Francisco on the San Andreas there. So please warn your friends and family. Um, I didn't change this. I didn't change this on here on the map here, but uh, this should read 6.7 to 7.5. You see the risk level has gone up to 6.7. But remember, this was a 5.4 risk and it turned out to be a 5.8. So it's peaking now at 6.7. And so we're likely to get a 6.7 earthquake in California and possibly higher. So 6.7 to 7.5 earthquake is likely in California. Uh, today through the 28th, most likely on the morning of December 27th, on the morning of Monday, December 27th. All right, there's that spike in risk, uh, huge uh, amount of energy in uh, California and San Francisco Bay. This is a 6.9 that hit on, in California on October 17th, 1989 during the World Series. And uh, that uh, caused the Cypress Bridge structure to go, come down, this two-level bridge here. Um, the Nimitz Freeway upper deck, a uh, lot of damage. Uh, there was uh, 63 people died and $12.5 billion in damage. Um, a lot of damage and 63 people died. So that was a 6.9. Uh, we we're expecting a 6.7 to 7.5. So anywhere in that range. So very major earthquake is coming to California. 
and most likely in the San Francisco Bay, according to the all the data that I've, I've compiled here. So uh, be prepared. We're looking at a big earthquake coming to uh, California. And the risk level is very high near Anchorage, uh, uh, the 24th through the 27th. And a uh, 6.5 earthquake is possible near Anchorage on the, uh, the 24th through the 27th. Um, within uh, 200 miles of Anchorage, Alaska. And here's that risk graph. You can see this peak here produced a uh, 6, 5.9 on the 21st. And uh, this is the risk level right now in Anchorage, Alaska, uh, which could produce a 6.4, the 25th through the 28th. So uh, watch for that in, in uh, Alaska area. Um, Japan, the risk level is not extremely high right now, but this is where the risk is right now is in uh, the Tokyo, Chiba, Yokohama, Tokyo and Chiba area, and also near Ibaraki, uh, the 26th through the 27th. So we could expect a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible in that area. And in Greece, you see uh, a couple of days ago, the risk was here in uh, Southern Albania and Western Greece. And that produced, uh, we can look over that uh, area, that produced a, uh, a few significant earthquakes, 4.4, uh, 4. Oh, lost the internet there a second. We produced a 4.4, 4.4, 4. and 4.3 in this risk area. Now the risk has diminished across to Greece, pretty quiet except for way in the north here but otherwise pretty quiet in the country of Greece. All right, in Japan, risk is near Chiba, where about a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible. In Alaska, we could get a, a significant earthquake. A 6.5 is possible. A 6.0 is likely within 200 miles of Anchorage, Alaska. And again, looking for a very strong earthquake in the uh, in California, and most likely this quake will hit in the, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, let me just point to that again. Here's the risk level right here on the 25th through the 28th, and uh, 6.7 to 7.5 is likely, and most likely today through the 28th, but most likely to hit on the morning of the 27th, somewhere in the city of San Francisco, most likely near like Daly City in that area, right along the San Andreas. Uh, so uh, that's the most likely spot for this quake right now. We'll have more data tomorrow and more information. But uh, if you live in San Francisco, if I lived in San Francisco, I would uh, most likely spend the day on the 27th and the 28th and 29th, possibly in uh, Sacramento or in Fresno. I would go east uh, during that, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. But everybody's going to do what they're going to do. That's what I would do. I would not be in San Francisco with this 98% uh, risk area on the 27th or 28th. Please be prepared for this earthquake. Again, 187,000 followers here now at quakeprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. And um, we're going into our 17th year of research. We started in uh, 2005. So uh, a lot of water under the bridge and our forecasts are getting better and better and better. We forecasted a significant earthquake to hit on the 7th of December. And we got that 5.8, couple 5.8s off the Northwest coast. And then we, we guaranteed a strong earthquake, a major earthquake on, on the 18th, and uh, the, the risk peaked on the 19th, and the quake hit 12 hours later on the 20th. So uh, our forecasts are getting better and better. And uh, I, if somebody asked me, I would say I, I guarantee at least a 6.0 earthquake in California on, uh, during the next four days, most likely on the 27th. I guarantee a major earthquake during the next four days, most likely on the 27th of December in the morning of this 27th. Thanks so much for your support at quickprediction.com. Please look over there for the current 
maps and graphs and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for any updates that we have along the way. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Please stay safe and um, batten down, get ready for the uh, quake. Look online uh, on Google and look up preparation for earthquake so you can uh, be prepared for this uh, major earthquake in California on most likely on Monday, December 27th. All right, thank you so much.